Firstly, we are no longer going to have an economy, a national economy focused on the western province and in Colombo. That's not going to work. Look, we have so many areas with a lot of potential. They should all have their own local regional economies. South can have one as we are starting now. Central province can have one initially with all its export, agriculture, and tourism and others. North can have one. It has the, one of the biggest potentials. And northwestern province, we feel initially those provinces can grow up just as much as western province with Sabragamua, East, Uwa and North Central coming later. But North Central has a potential which Jaffna also has. So let us now develop. There's enough power we have devolved. If you look at all these 13th Amendment, there's enough power to run your own strong economy. We won't interfere in that. Now I'm saying go and do it. Instead of looking to take all the money from Kalam. Look at Japan. It's not a federal state, but look at how all the different departments and regions are developed. It's well developed. Look at Korea. Look at UK. Scotland is developed. Parts of UK. Wales. So why, why can't we have our own economies that are functioning? France has one around Paris, one around Marseille, one around some of the other cities. So we, we can develop similarly. So with this devolution, we use the powers and let them all develop. We talk of devolution as political. You can give all the powers by law. You haven't got a cent to spend, what are, what are you worth? If you haven't got a cent to spend, what is the meaning of devolution? You can go out on roads, you can shout on everything. The only province that can spend its way out is the western province today. All the others are tied to the western province. Why should you be tied? If you look at the 13th Amendment, there are enough powers. Just use it. And that is my policy. Because the government can't plan. Don't even ask me to do things through the government to develop agriculture to government. Now you want to have a foreign language school. Why should I spend? If there's a demand for it, you can easily set it up. And if one, we will give loans and other grants to students who can't afford it. I don't think I should even, government should even start a foreign language school, whether in Jaffna or Gaul or anywhere. If there's a demand, you all do it. That's how education is run in all parts of the world. I can only do is to bring the economic conditions and also to create an environment in which people will go out and take the risk and develop agriculture or education, whether in this part of the country or other part of the country. That's what we have to do. Someone has to take a risk and then you go out. So we'll drive the environment, we'll give you all that and give you the best possible chance to succeed. I have come here to Jaffna as we have are now steering our way out of our economic difficulty. 2019 was a setback due to the Easter bomb. 2020 we had COVID setback. 2022 was very bad and our growth dropped down to minus 4-7%. Then after I took over, I was able to stabilize it last year in 2020. As I said, the first two quarters were minus growth, but the second two quarters have not been minus. And we've seen the fourth quarter as positive. But still our growth is 3% less than 2022. On this basis, we will make a positive growth for this year. 2% I hope, maybe 3%. And you go ahead, 2025 we will make about 5%. We can go ahead from there, but these are two stabilizing years. These are the two important years. So, we have changed the system. We will not print any more money. If you print money, your value goes down. We will not borrow from the banks because the banks are in trouble and we have to recapitalize them. So, without borrowing money and without printing money, we have to go ahead. This is why in our negotiations with our creditors, they want to know that our economy will be strong enough. So we had to come up to 12% of the GDP as revenue and our target finally will be 15%. But that's why we had to increase the VAT this year. In many instances, it was only 3%, but in some instances, it was 80 So we must have an economy that can get enough revenue. We have to pay for our budgets, we have to pay for development and also service our interests. Our biggest burden is that the bulk of our money goes in interest charges. Who's to blame? We are all to blame. We allowed the money, we wanted the government to live beyond its means, to satisfy what we wanted. So now we have been asked to pay on it. So we need a new economy. We can't run on an economy where balance of payment is not with you. It's for the other side. You have to keep borrowing in foreign ex in dollars. You can't go to a, can't have a budget in which revenue expenditure is more than revenue. 
then you have to keep borrowing your printing. So now we are looking at a new economy and that economy is what we are coming. A one that will create employment, give us a surplus of foreign exchange and give us a surplus revenue. So that is where we are going to start.